Greetings from Nashville, Tennessee, everybody. I'm in town to speak for MGMA's annual conference. Today's session was a deep dive session, now 45 minutes of all kinds of custom reporting ideas focused this year on operational and clinical things. If you missed the conference, be sure to put MGMA's Financial Management Payer Contracting Conference on your calendar. It's in Orlando, end of February 2016. I look forward to seeing you there. If you build pivot tables in the past, you know that you can tweak the formatting of dates, but you know that you can't do it with these typical Excel formatting tools. As one of the, I guess, the nature, one of the benefits, features of pivot tables is you're never quite sure how large that pivot table is going to be and how many cells you need to format. As you add fields to and from the rows and columns and it moves around, formatting here won't work. And so what you're probably used to doing is either coming down bottom right hand corner and value field settings, or you can reach the same menu here from value field settings. You can come up here and change the number format. And you've got to do that to change the way a pivot table's formatted. If you use the Excel data model and you play with it in Power Pivot, you can get around that, set it once, and then everything you use from thereafter, you can control the formatting without having to go to value field settings. Here's how to do it. From the Power Pivot tab and Manage, rather than click that and wait for it to load, I've got it loaded here for us. What you can do is, I'm in the Build Charges table, you can go across here and say, oh, here's fee, and you can see that it's formatted with a currency and two pennies. Well, I've got millions and millions and millions of dollars in this data set. I'm not worked up about pennies, so what I can do is I can come over here and I can decrease the formatting of this field. And then, once that format is right, now let's, um, let's, let's just close the data model, and now I'm back. See, I, I don't have to change the formatting using value field settings because what I've done is change it here in the model. And so what I can do is I can build the model and then give it to folks who aren't maybe as familiar with pivot tables and formatting, and I can do that. The other thing is when we get to Power View and Power Map and some of the other tools that are out there, I don't have to play with formatting. I'm going to control the formatting of the data model and roll with it. A couple more examples while we're in here. The data service, you know what? I don't need all of that extra stuff, if you will, right? So what I'm going to do is I can choose either a text, date, or, or a decimal number. That works for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and say, you know what? I don't care what time it is. It's just the data service. And let's just drag this back a little better. Same thing with post date. I don't care what time it is. I just want to know when it's posted. And so I can control the way the date's formatted there. One more date while we're in here. This is a date field that I'm going to do the same thing. With that, my dates are formatted and all of the tools that I'm going to use going forward are formatted ready to go in the pivot table, in Power View, in Power Map, and every place else I'm going to go. A simple way to set your data up and control the way it displays throughout all the different ways we're going to play with it over the next series of Excel videos. We played with formatting in this Excel video. There's another trick I want to show you. We'll do it in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.